All right, welcome kings and queens. Today we are talking about Miss Arian Coastlock Curry. Girl, you have lost your damn mind. You have lost your mind, but th that's nothing new to us here in the palace because I've been saying for quite some time now, this girl has, will, and continues to give single white female. Whatever Martel has done to you, this girl is crazy. This girl feels like she is the wife. This girl has always wanted Melody's life. This girl has, has coveted everything, Melody Cherie. This girl sits in her house and idolizes everything, every component, every detail, everything about Melody. This girl makes up stories in her head and tells herself that Melody, Melody needs her <laughs> in order to be successful. Y'all, if, if this ain't a different type of crazy, I don't know what is. This is definitely giving single white female. Martel, you sure know how to pick them. You sure know how to pick them. This girl is has lost her mind. And not only that, I, I think it's kind of our, our fault because we've set her up to believe that she can run her mouth about Melody. And Melody, Melody is supposed to sit there and take it. Melody is supposed to sit there like a church girl with her arms crossed across her lap and sit there and take it. I don't know what damn world people live in. But when a bold, big mouth, low budget, dusty mistress comes up and runs her mouth for years and years and years, the wife, the ex-wife has every right to clap back to respond when they see fit. This girl has been out of pocket for quite, quite some time now. And nobody ain't said nothing to her. Ain't nobody checked her. Melody let her ride. There's been times like in the past that I'm like, come on, Melody, to myself, right? Say something. Check, check her. Check that hoe. She's extremely disrespectful. Melody's be better than me because we're up in air and we're up in arms about Melody saying, hey, I would pull up. Baby, I would have been and pulled up. I would have been and pulled up, especially with you playing with my kids. I would have caught you slipping. And baby, you know what? Let's get into it. For those of you who are just tuned in or if you're new to the channel, welcome to the palace. I am Queen Sheba. I cover a variety of hot topics specific to reality television. But most importantly, I hone in on the psychological and the behavioral traits of the black experience. Subscribe now. Behind my wall, many, many months ago, I I've, I've, I share with you all that Martel and Ariane are in a full-blown relationship. And to some of y'all, it don't make sense because it's Sheree and it's and that. Who cares about all of these frolicking situationships that he has going on? The man cheated for five years, y'all, six, seven years while he was married. So why are we steady attempting to give both of these creatures demonic spirits a benefit of the doubt? That is not the case here. These, these two individuals are very much capable of anything. And I hope y'all come to understand that and grasp that concept of who we are really dealing with mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. We can pause there. But many, many months, the palace, you should already know what time it is. There is nothing new under the sun when it comes to information because I typically lay it out for you, right? They've been together. She's been around those kids. Fact check me. Martel told you that in a one-on-one -on -one interview. So this isn't new. You just got to peep, uh, peep the signs and just kind of look at the, at the small, intricate details. He told us that. I got him to confirm that in my one-on-one, -on -one, but I released it to the palace first. That's the first thing behind the wall. Oh, yeah, she's been around those kids, cooking, cleaning, all of that good stuff, okay? And that fell into my lap months and months and months ago. But uh, so that's nothing new. Number one, you don't play with people's kids. What kind of woman are you to have the audacity to screw somebody's husband five, six, seven years, get your, get your behind on social media, and hate the woman that you want to be. Literally hate the woman that you want to be. Hate the woman whose place you're trying to take, which you could never. You could never. 
she gave you that man with her eyes closed, handed him to you, and you still can't make it do what it needs to do. And then he still ain't out with you. That is called slow. You still can't get a public outing. I'll pause there. I'll pause there. According to you, you are that bitch. Well, let us see that bitch step on the scene with this man that has you entrapped in some type of uh, mental whatever to where you feel like you can get on a phone call with another blogger and talk openly about watching a man have sexual relations with his wife when he was married to her. You still got a whole video of me with my then husband. For what? What you got that for? Girl, if, if that's not single white female, I don't know what the hell it is. You are some kind of crazy. You are some kind of special. You are actually watch watching or have watched Melody and her husband. Bitch, you sick. You a whole kind of low ho. Excuse my language, palace. This one right here is different. This one right here is different. If you compile all of the horrible things that this goat has done, this tramp has done over the course of how many years and expect nobody not to clap back at her ass because she's been tricked into feeling that she is that girl. Girl, where? Where? We'll wait for your credentials. That girl, where? You didn't finish school. You don't have a job. You don't have a car. And then you have the nerve to fix your mouth to say that you're playing mommy with the five of your kids. If this bitch don't want to be Melody Cherie, you girl, it takes a mother to be a mother. You're not a mother. You could never with Melody's beautiful kids. This bitch is batshit crazy. Please pardon my French that she actually sees herself as being a mother of those four kids. And poor Paris. I guess when Martel walked in the picture, Paris no longer had value to you as your child, because she's like non-existent. That came out of your mouth. Our five kids. Let me be clear. Where's your daughter? Cause you said you had a family day with y'all five kids. I got four with them. You got one and then another child. Now how, I, you can't count either. What is Paris now? Huh? You that girl tell us. How did your daughter take a back seat to Melody's children to the fact that you won't even fact her, factor her into an equation of you and Martel's life? I'll wait. I'll wait. Y'all, if that ain't crazy, if this girl does not want Melody's life, you got the man. Make it do what it do, but you can't. Because let me tell you something. Martel is a full-blown, in my opinion, malignant narcissist, in my opinion in my opinion, based on observations, behavioral patterns I've, witched, I've uh, witnessed him engage in, and I'm just speaking. I don't know this to be true, but I have a strong, strong opinion about him being a narcissist. Girl, Martel don't give a damn about you. He don't give a damn about you. You are something to be used, okay? And don't act like Melody is watching you and you got a prize because boo-hoo. What'd you say? Boohoo. I, I forgot what she said, but anywho, cause baby, you was boohoo and all over the internet when you thought him and Sheree was about to make it. Oh yeah. Sheree had you all up in your feelings. You remember that? Sheree had you all up in your feelings while you was sitting at home in that section eight apartment. And that's no, that's not a, um, a dig to anyone. I'm talking to her. Oh yeah. Make it make sense, honey. Yeah. So you feeling yourself. And you came out to talk shit with another blogger who's supposed to be your friend. I could never. I could never. Girl, you know what? Y'all, hold on. Girl, my friend would never. My friend would never. How come you don't have that energy for your friend recording you and using you to get her views and her clicks up, huh? You said we talk, we talk all the time. And if I wanted to release it, I actually saw it. We know. We know what kind of low down, dirty tramp you are. We get it. We know you're down for whatever. We know Carson was not lying. 
Because you originally you said Carson was lying. And you made fake DMs. And bitch, you are you are crazy, y'all. This is the type of crazy that would sit in jail behind a man. And damn near came close to it behind a man. Behind a man. You hear what I'm saying? And a man that was never hers, that will never be hers. Because as soon as he finds him another thing that's up and smoking, like a charade or a Belinda, honey, he is out. And you will be lonely in that house, that apartment again, okay? Now, let me say this. How come you don't have that same energy for your blogger friend that recorded your ass and released it under the guise of clicks and views? You, we ain't heard you say nothing about that, okay? How come you ain't checked her? You got all this smoke and all this energy for Melody, but you the one that opened your mouth. And then talking about Melody is obsessed with you. With what? What is she obsessed with you for having no job? Huh? No car? There is nothing about you that any woman is obsessed with. There is nothing about your likeness that any woman would need to borrow or need in order to come up. You are not that girl, sweetheart. Be careful how you play with people's kids. And you brought up that lady's kids. Keep it between the adults. But you try to go low and bring up that lady's kids. Now, if she pull up on your ass, come what may. Because you've been playing with her for a long time. You've been playing. That's see, you play in little girl games. I don't care if anybody disagrees with what I'm saying. She had no business opening her mouth talking about those kids. Talk about your kids. Okay? Focus on yours. And Martell, you some kind of wonderful because you should have checked that shit at the door. What kind of man are you that you would allow this woman to get her ass on the internet and talk about being a mother to your kids? Nigga, you crazy if you didn't check that. You come out with everything else. You should come out with that. How you let this dusty pot of nothing speak on those four beautiful kids? She could never. Hell, she can't even mother her own. She forgot her baby in the car. And that's why you going to jail. You and your man going to jail. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to let well enough alone and let things be. But because of your big ass mouth, you going to jail. <laughs> oh, then we going to talk about who's the mother of the year. All right. Make it make sense, girl. Yeah. Since you said you can't pull up today, just know, baby girl, the doors are always open.